friends and greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB advanced test analyst we are in chapter 4 and looking at the next topic is 4.2 quality characteristics for business domain testing in this particular we topic we have a lot of subtopics so we'll be elaborating more on some of the topics and context which we learned in previous chapters specific this particular topic or this particular tutorial we are covering three small topics together which are not lengthy enough so I decided to cover them together here keeping it small and simple so the very first thing we were talking about is understanding what this section is all about as an introduction when you talk about functional testing we are first getting started with functional testing of the quality characteristics like generally it starts and begins with the unit testing and of course it passes through the functional parameters to be tested before it can move into the non-functional levels or non-functional testing of any particular feature or functionality so that's where the test analyst primary focus becomes uh, more important on the suitability of functional testing and functional parameters of any feature which has been created and been generally we define it as what the test object should do what does it really work on so that is what is done with help of the requirements specifications and we generally take that as a basis and create our test cases using certain techniques and test the same so in agile environment if you really look into more detail the suitability testing usually includes uh, the specific functionalities or plan for implementation or regression testing for all unchanged functionalities so these are the key areas which we generally target when it comes to the functional testing of any quality characteristics so that's what is more important to be understand at the same time when you move into the second level of it we make sure that uh, whatever testing has been performed as a part of functional levels it is also having a proper coverage to meet the criteria so that we can say it is complete in all the manners so the very first topic in this particular segment we are understanding is 4.2.1 that is functional correctness testing now functional correctness testing involves verifying the applications adherence to the specified or implied requirements and may also include computational accuracy now when you talk about correctness is that what feature you were trying to implement and have you correctly implemented that now it's very simple that we're talking about certain extent uh, verification or also to certain extent that making sure that what requirement was supposed to be implemented have you implemented the same thing and that could be done with help of the test techniques which you have applied and those specifications being met or not so you just make sure that during the functional correctness test this uh, say for example there's a text field does that work as a text field or it has some special features to be included as a part of it so that it can be called as a special field and user have a different uh, you know action to be performed on that particular field so the very first thing which we start with is functional correctness testing when it comes further the next one is called as functional appropriateness testing now appropriateness testing is something add on to the comp uh, correctness testing now first of all you will check whether it is correct or not and second you will check if it is appropriate for this particular feature or not for example if the text field follows with the first name and last name as two different fields then I need to make sure that the user enters the first name into the first name box and the last name into last name so that if it just tries to enter everything in the first name the last name cannot be left blank or probably the user it gives a space it can detect that the first name is picking up another name instead of uh, having two different cells to be filled so these kind of appropriateness tests can be done and we generally call uh, functional appropriateness testing involves evaluating and valid validating the appropriateness of a set of function for its intended specified task so when you talk about such things of course these new things comes up as understanding the control flow understanding the design understanding the architecture that could be obviously helpful from the terms of use cases or the user story which you have created earlier which will help you to understand it is not only limited to the functionality the core feature functionality it can also be related to the interfaces between different components or probably different uh, modules within the application 
Defects discovered in this particular testing are indications that the system will not be able to meet the needs of the user in a way that it will be considered acceptable because we do have acceptance criteria to be met so appropriateness would be included as a part of it. So meeting the acceptance criteria is really crucial at the time of testing. <coughs> The third thing here is functional completeness testing that is 4.2.3 where we are talking about over and ahead of completeness, uh, sorry the correctness, appropriateness, now comes completeness which generally means that it involves uh, performing testing to determine the coverage of the specified task and user objectives by implementing functionality. Of course, a user story may have different tasks, but how much you have completed on that is what we're talking in terms of the coverage. So coverage measure basically will tell you how much testing have been executed on this particular functionality and how much more required to be done. So we are you know, purely talking about the uh, inputs on the statement coverage, decision coverage, conditional coverage, or cyclomatic complexity, all those things which generally gives you the input on the coverage part and says how much this particular requirement has been covered in terms of completeness. So traceability would be another thing uh, which will help you to understand the completeness or the measure of the coverages. Uh, you know, which will help you to determine how much we have, how many test cases we have written on each particular test. So uh, making sure the traceability is established and the coverage is being measured. This can be also done with help of testing tools like test management tools which will help you to tag the requirements with the test cases and the executions so that it will be consi consistently telling you the coverage parameter and uh, the measure of that. So similarly when it comes to the uh, you know the completeness basically the lower completeness will tell you which part of it is not completed and what more need to be done for that so it is really important altogether for the test analyst to make sure that the each functional function implemented is complete appropriate as well as complete in all manners which are required to have the fulfillment of the quality characteristic which are required to be delivered as a part of your user story so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else to be asked, make sure that you comment below. I'll be there to assist you. If in case you have anything beyond that, we will be having a lot more tutorials coming up. We have a few more things to talk about on non-functional parameters. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.